Making the Statue of Liberty disappear is probably going to be beyond you, but that doesn't mean you can't impress your friends with some less resource-heavy magic tricks. These tricks include classics like making a coin disappear or bending a paperclip with your mind. What's more, most of them only take a few minutes to learn. Amazing! Number 20. Turn paper into cash. Magic always looks more impressive with fire. Of course, we always urge caution when adding anything flame related to a trick. For this one, you'll need a piece of paper, a fire lighter, and some cash. Hold the piece of paper in your hand, then set it on fire. Flick your wrist, and hey, presto! And in its place, you have a 20 pound note. Here's how it's done. First, fold the banknote in half, three times as shown. Then, hide it in the palm of your hand. Now, light the paper as normal. While the audience are distracted by the flame, all you have to do is push the banknote to the front of your thumb. Simple. This trick works best when your audience doesn't know what you're gonna do. Number 19. The Levitating Card Trick the levitating card trick is another very easy piece of magic. All you need is a pack of cards and some fingers. Let's hope you still have yours. Place your index finger on top of the deck of cards. Lift it up and using the awesome powers of your mind, a card should follow suit. This card will always be the one placed at the back of the deck and with good reason. To do the trick, simply hold your pinky finger against the deck in the middle of the card while your index finger rests against the top like shown. Raise your hand and the card should move with it. Number 18. The Disappearing Crayons Take a box of crayons, hold it out in front of the audience. Before their very eyes, you're going to make the crayons inside the box disappear. Wave your hand over the crayons in a suitably theatrical manner, and suddenly, poof, the crayons are gone. To get the crayons back, all you have to do is turn the box over, and the crayons have magically reappeared. This is a little trickier than some of the tricks in this video, and requires some basic arts and craft skills. You can't do this trick with any old box of crayons. The crayons are cut in half, and glued to a few popsicles sticks, or whatever you have that suits is shown. When putting the crayons inside the box, hold your finger about halfway up the box to keep the crayons in place. When you want them to disappear, simply release the pressure on the box and the crayons will slip to the bottom of the box. Once you turn the box over, the crayons reappear. Number 17. Disappearing Coin Trick this is one of a host of classic coin tricks you've probably seen a version of dozens of times before. In this particular case, you're gonna hold the coin in one hand. Place your other hand over the coin, remove it, and the coin is gone. Place your hand over the other hand again, and what's that? The coin is back, but this time in your other hand. As you might have guessed, this involves a little bit of sleight of hand. Once you place your second hand over the one with the coin in it, simply place the coin in between your index finger, holding it there. Now, to make the coin reappear, appear, all you have to do is lift it from your index finger and show it to your hopefully astonished fans. Number 16. Disappearing Match Trick Next, we're gonna make a match or a toothpick disappear, whichever you have. This is another really simple trick that, if carried out right, is really effective. Hold a match in your hand. Open your hand dramatically, as if you've thrown the match clear with your mind. Now, as if catching the match from out of thin air, close your hands, and boom! The match is back! Repeat this as many times as you like. It'll amaze your audience every time. All you have to do is take the match to your thumb, as shown. Bend the top of your thumb downwards to put the match on display and simply straighten your thumb to make it disappear. If you don't happen to have tape on you, this can still be performed. All you need to do is lick the back of your thumb between the knuckle and nail when the audience is distracted and squeeze the match against your thumb tightly. It should create some temporary adhesive so that it will hold long enough for you to at least perform this trick once. Number 15, disappearing coin trick off table. Some more coin trickery now. This time, we're gonna make a coin disappear through a table. First, place the coin on a flat surface. Drop your hand over the coin and concentrating really, really hard, use all your magical abilities to make that money vanish while rubbing your palm back and forth over the coin. What you're really doing by rubbing the coin is actually inching it slowly to the edge of the table, first with your palm and then your wrist, as shown, where it will magically fall off and disappear onto the floor. It helps if you do this trick in a carpeted room. Number 14. Magic liquid through a plastic cup trick. This is another trick that requires a little bit of advanced preparation. Drop one plastic cup filled with liquid, preferably colored liquid, into the other one and, if your powers are working to full capacity, the liquid from the first cup should magically appear in the second one, as if the liquid has passed 
right through the first cup. To do this trick, you actually need three plastic cups. Cut the bottom of the third cup and fill that with liquid. Mix with some food coloring. Place it on the bottom of the second, completely empty cup, making it look like it's filled with liquid. Drop this cup into the first one. The base from the third cup should fall off into the first cup and disappear into the liquid, making it look as if the liquid has passed from one cup to the other. Number 13, a wine glass and coin trick. This is another perennial favorite of magicians the world over. You're gonna take a wine glass, put a cloth over it, or simply place your hands around its top and slide it over a coin. The coin, as if by magic, will vanish. It is important for this trick to work, that it occurs on colored paper. It is this paper that is the secret to its success. Beforehand, you'll have cut out a circular piece of the colored paper and glued it to the top of the wine glass. So when you slide the glass over the coin, it looks like it has vanished when really, it's hidden underneath the colored paper. Slide the glass away, and look, the coin is back. Number 12, signed card trick. We've been lied on card tricks thus far, so let's address that issue right now. For this trick, you'll need a deck of cards, a marker, and a see-through bag. Get your participant to pull out a card from the deck and, without showing it to you, sign the card and place it back in the deck. The cards will be placed into the see-through bag and sealed. Give the bag to your participant to hold. With a born entertainer's flourish, you're going to pull their signed card from out of the bag without actually damaging the plastic. Impossible, right? Well, obviously not. The trick here is to palm the card once the person has placed it back into the deck. To do this, simply cut the pack of cards cards so that there is a break in it. Shift the card so that the person's card is on top as shown. The card is then palmed as you misdirect the audience's attention with a question, like how many cards are in a deck? Once the participant holds the bag, you scratch your face and lick the back of the card, which is then stuck to the other side of the bag. So it's never actually inside the plastic. Once it comes time to pull it out of the bag, all you have to do is pull it off the back of the bag. Make sure to do it with a little bit of style though. Number 11. Breaking a pencil with an index card. This is another really simple trick that you could do with a regular old pencil and an index card. What you're gonna do is break that pencil with the card. Get your delightful assistant to hold the pencil tightly. Swipe down with the card and the pencil should break in two. Of course, you can't actually break the pencil with a piece of card, but what you're actually doing is quickly straightening your index finger as you swipe. And it's this that does the damage. It could hurt a little, but it's all worth it in the name of magic. Just make sure to apply ample power to your swipe. Number 10, the torn corner card trick. So, if you're feeling a little hungry, here is a trick that will astonish people and seemingly fill your stomach a little. Your assistant picks a card, you tear it a little, at the corner, then you bite it off, chew down on the card, and swallow it. Then go to your wallet, and look what's inside. It's the bit of the card that you have just eaten. To pull this one off, you need a duplicate card, so access to two decks. For best effect, Use a picture card, like the King of Diamonds, so you can tear both at identical places, say, where the King's crown stops. Take the torn piece of card and put it in your wallet. Then, force the duplicate card on your spectator. There are multiple ways you can do this. Now, all you have to do is tear the card in the exact same way you tore the previous one. You don't actually have to eat the piece of the king. Instead, simply tuck the corner behind the card, as shown, as you bring it to your mouth. Set the card down so the corner is hidden. Then, go to your wallet and complete the trick. Number nine, bend a paperclip with your mind. Bending a paperclip with your mind is not as difficult as it sounds. In fact, it's remarkably easy and requires surprisingly little psychic abilities. Take a normal paperclip, flatten it out, and then hold it straight in front of you. This trick is all about perspective. The paperclip shouldn't be completely straight. However, when you hold it in front of you, it should look like it is. To bend it, simply roll it ever so slightly between your fingers, making it look like you're bending the paperclip with your mind, when in reality, you're just rotating it a little. Number eight, magic chalk powder. For this, you'll need some chalk and an assistant's hands, preferably attached to their body. Get your assistant to hold their hands out in front of them, face down. Make sure to place them exactly where you want them to be. Put some chalk on your hand. Rub it some more until the chalk has disappeared. Finish by blowing on your hand to magically transfer the chalk that was there into your helper's hand. Now turn your assistant's hands over, and the chalk should have magically jumped to their palm. The trick here is in the placement of the assistant's hands. Rub some chalk on your fingers in advance 
advance of the trick. Once you reposition their hands, you're also transferring the chalk to their palm. Everything after this is mere showsmanship. Number 7. Disappearing Coin Trick this is another twist on the classic vanishing coin trick. For this variant, you need a glass of water, a coin, of course, and a piece of cloth. Put the coin under the cloth, and then hold it over the water. Tap it once, maybe twice, for effect. Remove the cloth and the coin is gone. What you need to do to make this trick magic is hold a transparent coin replacement, like the glass of a watch face, in your hand and swap it out for the coin before you actually place it underneath the cloth, like shown. So when you let go of what is supposed to be the coin, the transparent object drops into the water completely unnoticed, or disappears as if by magic. Number 6. Disappearing Ring Ever wanted to make a ring disappear? Here's how. Place the ring on your index finger. Wave your other magic hand in front of it. The ring is gone. A second wave and it's back again. All you have to do to make this trick magic is simply swap fingers. When you wave your hand, you swap your index finger for your middle finger and then swap them back again to make the ring reappear. Who knew magic was so easy? Number 5. Magic Slap Card Trick now we're going back to card tricks. Get your assistant to pick a card, any card. Look at it and put it back anywhere in the deck. Then give them the pack of cards. Now you're going to slap the cards out of the person's hand until the only card that remains is incredibly the very card they picked. To do this, you have to keep control of the card when it's put back into the deck, ensuring that it winds up at the bottom of the pack. Once it's there, the rest is fairly straightforward. Make sure they hold the deck of cards relatively loosely, and in this specific way, as shown, with their thumb and index finger. Once you slap the pack of cards, they will naturally fall until you are only left with one. It might require a little bit of practice to know exactly how hard to hit the cards. Number 4. Anti-Gravity Ring now we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna make a ring defy gravity. Take a piece of elastic, break it, and thread it through the ring. Hold it in an angle like so, and using all the power of your mind, make that ring go up. It's actually a pretty easy trick to pull off. Hold one end of the elastic at its edge, while with the other end, you're actually going to leave quite a bit of the elastic resting in your palm. Then stretch the elastic so it looks like it's at its full length. Now all you're going to do is pull the elastic upwards, releasing it slowly to make it look like the ring is defying gravity. Number 3. Levitating Money Trick With this trick, it appears that all you're doing is taking a standard note and folding it. Then, for added suspense, the note is balanced between both your thumbs, and ever so slowly, it is left suspended in the air. The illusion makes it seem like the note is levitating on its own, but obviously it isn't. The note is then unwrapped and inspected. This trick is super simple. All you have to do is take a coin and hide it in your palm. As you take the note to start folding it, simply slide the coin behind it and fold the note over the coin. Now, all you have to do is slowly balance it on your thumb. Once you're done levitating the bill, flip it upside down and release the pressure on the coin so that the coin falls back into your hand. Number 2. Disappearing Foil Coin Trick this is a delightfully simple trick that looks wonderful if pulled off correctly. Take a coin and a piece of paper. Place the coin inside the piece of paper and then, nice and slowly, fold the paper over until it is nothing more than a scrunched up piece of paper. Did the coin disappear? Well, the truth, as ever, is a little more prosaic. There never was a coin to begin with. What you do is take some tinfoil and make an impression of the coin. In the US, a quarter will work. For British magicians, you'll probably want to use a 10p coin. Trim around the edge of the foil with scissors, so you have a foil quarter. At a distance, it should be really hard to tell the difference between the real and fake coin. From here, the rest is simple. Number 1. Torn and Restored Dollar Bill Trick now, we're going to destroy some money. Well, not really. Take a note, tear it straight down the middle, then do it again and again. So you now have half a dozen or so torn pieces. Rub the bits together until eventually the bill is restored. So how is it done? All you need are two of the same denominations of note and some glue or rubber cement. Super glue might ruin your notes and make them unspendable. Fold one of the bills in half and line it up with the back of the other bill as shown. Run some rubber cement around the outer edge of the bill, just the outer edge. The second bill goes on top. Press it into place with two flaps, as shown. Now you could start tearing the first bill from just about where the fold is. Tear it some more to make sure your audience are convinced you have torn the money. Slide the torn pieces into the pocket created when you glued the two notes together. Start rubbing, which is really you just moving the pieces into the pocket. Maneuver the bill into a Z shape. 
showing the slide that hasn't been glued. Straighten the note with a flourish. You can even show them the other side, being careful to hold the note in such a way as to hide the crease. There you go! 20 tricks to amaze and astound friends, loved ones, and enemies. Let us know how you get on with them in the comments, and make sure and share this video with any friends you're happy sharing our magical secrets away to. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe, clicking that bell icon to never miss another video. Thanks for watching!